Are those Halle Berries in there? Those are your Halle Berries. My Halle Berries do not look like this. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday and yet another reef tour. I finally convinced my coral plug to tour his sick setup. I'm here with Brad today and he's gonna show us the insane tank setup that he has and the frag tank and the corals that he has for sale. The coral plug, ladies and gentlemen. Brad, AKA? Brass reef. Boom, boom. Right, right there. This is my 150 gallon mixed reef. Uh, it's only two years old, and believe it or not, this is my first reef tank. I've been in the hobby, uh, the aquarium hobby, for about 25 years. I had African cichlids for a long time. Um, when I moved from California to Florida, I stepped it up and went full reef. Um, so, as you can see, I have a 150 gallon um, custom uh, stand that I built myself. This side opens also. Oh, for little um, access? Full access. Got a ladder. This helps you climb up into the tank. <laughs> <laughs> I did know that, Brad, this was his first tank, but I didn't know you were in freshwater before. Yeah, I had African cichlids for a long time. And now there's not a freshwater tank in this place? You just... Uh, nope. They're all gone. No freshwater, only salt. Reefing will do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that this is his first reef tank, it's only two years old and it looks like this is absolutely insane. And he's got, you know, the frag tank over there, which we'll get to. I know a lot of you guys always ask me what coral I have for sale, and my tank is like super duper basic. So get ready to get your pocketbooks out because this is a whole nother level. With the light set up, you got four lights up here, but you actually just replaced these, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. So I was running some old school uh, AI Soul Blues and uh, I decided to make the change. Um, and now I'm running the Noob Psych K7 Pro 2s. And um, to be honest, it's some of the best lights I've seen out on really? the market. I actually made the custom brackets up there for them. And this is the AI Soul Blue uh, mounting uh -huh. rails. And so all I did is got some aluminum, cut them, drilled them, Super clean. and made ourselves some brackets up there. What lighting do you got on the uh, the frag tank? Microspectrus with the Giesman T5s. Do you like running the T5s with the... I do. Um, I run them for about four hours a day, so okay. I don't overdo it. You'll see how much power I get when I turn them on. Hey Google, turn on T51. Oh, okay. We see you. There she goes. Hey Google, turn on T52. Oh, what? You have one at a time too? Okay, this guy's fancy over here. Oh man. We'll get into this. We'll get yes, into yep. this. I get excited. That's on the outside of the 150. What's the sump looking like? We have the uh, Trigger Systems uh, Ruby. Um, sump. It's a little messy in there right now. Uh, uh, what sump is it? It's got some mangroves growing in there, um, some chato and uh, some other not so awesome uh, algae. But you know <laughs> what? They're doing the job and they're down in the sump. They're not in the main display. So um, I don't worry too much about that. A little bit of an older uh, skimmer, but that thing is a workhorse. Two filter socks. Uh, I do run carbon. I know some reefers don't, uh, especially with their tangs. I've never had a problem. And then I have a CJ uh, 7.0 return pump. You got some clowns that uh, piss you off down there too? These are clowns that I came up on and uh, <laughs> I just can't put them in the main display. That guy's just chilling under the yeah, thing. Yeah, he's so cool. And then over here, we got, shout out to the custom dosage crew, everybody who's got the Voss bottles. Boss bottles, oh, but yeah, you're, DIY. You're, you're uh, pumping a lot of stuff. I run the Brightwell um, code A and code B. Okay. So I have the calcium alkalinity from Brightwell. I also use their magnesium. I'm a big fan of Brightwell, so that's a shout out to Brightwell. Yeah. I've gotten great results. I feel like the puppies are always jealous of their cousins. My dogs, oh, yeah. when I'm gonna do a water change or something, he'll go and like lay right right where I have to do the water change. Yeah. It never fails. My reef puppies. <laughs> Jabo do doser. Classic. I got Classic. the free pumper. <laughs> um, it works great. I went with the cheaper of the Apex, which is the EL. Um, which, guys, by no means does that mean it's 
cheap. <laughs> but, no, cheaper. <laughs> yeah, keyworder. Um, what the EL does is it will um, test your pH and your temperature. That's all it does. On an app, right? On, you your, have on your phone. Okay. And then you have um, the power brick, so that's your power Oh, it's strip. just a normal power strip. It's basically a power strip, um, but you can then plug in your lights and everything. I haven't gotten to that point yet. The Trident, um, this guy. which is a really cool unit. It tests your alkalinity, your calcium, and your magnesium. You can have it set up uh, to test as many times as you want. I currently have it set up for four times a day, and it tests the alkalinity four times and the um, calcium and magnesium twice a day. Um, and that's that. Wow, it's so crazy. Yeah, the test cool. itself takes about 10 to 15 minutes and it's all automated. And then there's a waste container, so it does all the testing and then the waste goes into a container. You can tell it how big your waste container is, the whole thing, and it'll alert you and let you know, hey, you need to put more reagents in there. Really? It's a really cool unit. And it's all, and it is, you just read it all on the app? And it's all on the app. Really cool guys have their own iPad on their <laughs> Yeah, He's getting that next month, <laughs> next month, next month. That is absolutely insane. Technology is just out of hand. We won't be getting that for the Red Sea Max 250. Uh, I wasn't gonna say anytime soon, but definitely won't be getting that at all. <laughs> Maybe for the future tanks though, you know, like a, like a huge display tank. That's the lights, that's the sump, that's the dosing setup. Let me glasses you guys up here. And here is the 150 gallon tank. I mean, I don't even know where we should start. You can see I have a nice little Euphelia tree over here. Frog spawns, octo spawns, hammers. I think I got those frog spawns. <laughs> frog spawns and holy grail octo spawn this one down here yeah um this this is my favorite hammer in the tank right now the whole tank um, that one yeah that out of all my hammers that's my favorite it's got some amazing colors in it how do you get your rock flowers to stay here they just happy nice they're just happy a uh, couple higher end uh Ghanis. The this, yellow one's pretty cool. The yellow the, center. That one's uh, the one he calls Apple Jacks. This rack right here is the high-end rack? That's the high-end rack. Uh, quite honestly, that rack's probably worth about $3,500. <laughs> um, Casual. Grandmaster cracks, exospheres. Guys, this is where my baby's from. Yep, TSA warp drive. The they purplish are, one? Yeah, this one with the black face and the rainbow edges. Yeah. There's only a handful of reefers in Florida that have that. Really? Um, and those, just for you guys know, uh, if you order them on TSA's site, they're about 250 a polyp. <laughs> um, then I have the awesome blossoms that are closed right now, and pissed off, but they open up. Little Shop of Horrors, Frankie's Acid Trips, um, Psychosis, ECC Burning Embers, White Zombies. These are Stratocasters and Adonis Malls right there. One of my favorites is uh, one that you're kind of familiar with. These two here. Oh, those are the, wait, and are those that, the ones from my tank? Yes. And that's that crazy. Colony that's right back there is yours also. Funny story, I actually met Brad because of that acro. We swapped uh, the acro for... I think one of those green ro uh, rhodactus, a big green rhodactus. Oh, yeah, 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 the big green, the big green mushroom that, in my tank. And, uh, a couple zoas. The, uh, the, I think the pink hippos. The pink hippos. Three pink hippos, but you guys have seen them in my tank now. They have just like crazy. But that's actually how we met like a couple months back, which is also a good point because you never know who you're going to meet because now Brad is my coral plug and, and we're here now. So, yeah. <laughs> Walt Disney. This is a wild rainbow tenuous colony that I purchased. Which one? This big one? This big one. Um, got a princess peach there. Um, so those are at some point gonna make their way into the rock work. Got some mushrooms down here, as you guys can see. Yeah, some nice little mushroom Really grain. cool stuff. I got all my discosomas back there. Got some bounced discosomas. Um, I like how you have the them all rodactus. mixed together, like a little forest. All the rhodactus up here. I've got some really nice, you know, Mardi Gras, uh, Day Glow. What, what's this one, the green? The green one yeah, on the top? Big, uh, the big green one right here. That's the Day Glow. Yeah, that's a cool one. Some Maui Wowies. Uh, that top one is the napalm that I had uh, named, I came up with. Um, I've got the booger sugar right there. That's another one that I named. Um, 
We've got uh, uranium balance, TSA toxic, uh, that's a tequila sunrise, and on the back side there is a Frankenstein balance. This, I'm telling you, usually is like crazy flowing throughout the whole tank. Unfortunately today it's not, yeah, but. Yeah, they, they don't want to, my, my Aussie joker is, is pissed. This the guy. one that I really want to point out, um, another one that we named, is this uh, torch right here. Um, it looks like a Indo Joker. The main difference the top is one right here. Yeah, the main top. difference is, is it's got yellow tips. Um, when uh, my wife saw that and we couldn't find a name for it, she decided to name it Maleficent. She's a huge Disney fan, um, so that's what we named it, and uh, that's what we're going with. And, Maleficent. And been, that's it's cool. It's been a really big hit. A lot of people like it. That's a, a yellow submarine on the left across from it on the right that thing's crazy too it's got a bunch of colors flamethrower gani up on the top there those are the tinkerbells here on the left those are cool those are the wipes this particular one right here that's bouncing was my very first recordia ever oh really and that one is the only one that i've gotten to bounce and uh, you can see it's got some nice little these things bubbles. are happy here though yeah they're really happy there's sand way heavier on this side it's because I, if I'm not mistaken, your fish, right? Yeah, so we've got these two big Atlantic surgeons right here. It's uh, Bonnie and Clyde. You can see they like to fight each other. <laughs> um, they actually dug the sand from behind the rocks. Like, look at this. There's, pushed it out. There's nothing here. And, of course, the way the flow is, it's like a gyre. It comes over and then back down this way. And of course, what they do, they spit it out and it gets blown over here. Actually, it was about this deep yesterday. I oh, you, you flattened it out a little bit? And pushed it in, shoved it down, actually moved this rock into that hole a little bit to help maybe prevent them from digging as much. It's crazy. They're actually pretty cool. Uh, Clyde there, he likes to come out when I stick my hand in the tank and he'll kind of nibble my finger. And oh, really? He's, he's really gentle with me. Um, That's a, a Anthea, right? Like that's, yeah, here? those are the liar tail. That's the male. That's the female. Um, this is my tomato clown. He's been named by the wife. My wife names all the fish. <laughs> uh, that's Sean White. <laughs> that's the biter, right? Yeah, and that's the biter. He bites the crap out of me. My red chorus, he's, I love him, but I hate him because um, he works so hard. He flips corals. Oh, really? Constantly. Oh, that sucks. Um, one of the reasons why I got this this frag rack. It's a lock-in frag rack, so he's not knocking my uh, high-end. Yeah, like Zola's. Look at that frag of Grandmaster Crack. That thing is all the way around. Stratocasters, not to be confused with Stratosphere. Stratospheres are like two thousand dollars a pop. Oh, okay. I do not have those <laughs> yet. Yet, <laughs> I will. <laughs> got some really good stuff over here. I do. I have stuff in grow out over here. Um, most of the stuff that's on tiles are all grow out. This is the mother colony of the booger sugars. Oh, and nice. You can see how ridiculous these are. Yeah, that thing's crazy. What is that? Three or four of them? Uh, it's three mushrooms. Was it bouncing when you got it? It was bouncing. I got it from a guy that no name, of course. It's getting out of the hobby, and. Uh, the rock had like eight of them on there. Lately, they've really, really colored up a lot. Are those Halle Berries in there? Those are your Halle Berries. What the heck? They don't look like that in my tank. <laughs> I'm about to cancel this tank tour and just walk on out of here because everything that I look at that's in my tank that I swapped Brad for looks better in this tank and it's pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> my Halle Berries do not look like this. So these are all for, for sale. Um, Got Sunny D's in here, Cat's Eyes, Solar Flare, or Sonic Flare, sorry. Um, Rainbow Trolls, I've got a bunch of those. I've got like three colonies of Rainbow Trolls. Got some more Sun Goddess Torch here. These are That's super, a one. super, super nice. This one's almost three heads. Um, I just can't frag it. It's too tiny of a base, yeah. No, it's the, the tissue is, is attached. Oh, okay. Can't frag when they're attached like that, or you risk bacterial infection and loss. Another holy grail, octospawn right here. These are cornbread omegas. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, 
and then I have vampire slayers there. Um, I'm gonna be getting some of those little purple monster thingies. Purple monsters. Next fryer, I'm in line. One of the things I'm gonna be fragging soon. Uh, Look at that thing. Is this bad boy? This is a WWC jelly bean. That thing is insane. And and I mean, you can see the size of my hand. So we're looking at about four inches here on this. That's a super super nice piece. What does a frag of that go for? Uh, depending on how many colors you get in it, but you're looking at about uh, 250 to 300 for a single eye. Sheesh! Another one that uh, that's really nice, the Crayola Meltdown. Yeah, I like these big, the big colonies are crazy. And now, did you get these as frags or did you buy them already as colon kind of colonies? This one, I, I, both of those I actually got as colonies. Um, but I, and I knew the guy that bought them and uh, he bought them as frags and yeah. you know so they are the real deal and that pl that platey one's nice too this one right here yeah this is actually a fascination fabia oh i almost bought that you know actually i was looking back at my footage from the f mass and i completely forgot to buy it the fascination fabia the colors split on that like perfect yeah, it's really kind of interesting how the colors split like that. Mardi Gras in here. I've got another Frankenstein. I've got a number of cool mushrooms. I like stuff. my mushrooms. Would you say that's like your favorite kind of? Um, it's hard to say. I like them all, really. Uh, Zoas, I have just like a, a love for Zoas. I like how you can really use them to be like a little bit of a boundary between two aggressive corals to separate maybe a couple favias or separate mushrooms from other stuff so that they don't like grow over each other. Yeah. Uh, but I do really like uh, mushrooms because of the amount of colors that you get. What got you to switch? I know you said you moved down here, but like, was it just the move that got you switched from freshwater to saltwater? Um, so when, when we were moving, you know, my wife had mentioned that she wanted a reef tank. She wanted salt water. So she's responsible for all of this. She's she responsible is. for the approvals. She's responsible for getting the tank. <laughs> she is. So, um, and I always kind of wanted to, to try, but I was always afraid of, oh, salt water is so expensive, you know, um, you know, that they're harder to take care of and all that kind of stuff. And but, I feel like salt water as well is only expensive to start. And obviously if you get into like the crazy level where you're buying really expensive frags, but I feel like once you set up and you get that big chunk out of the way, it's not really that expensive to maintain, like not more than any other normal hobby. Especially if you're, you're, you know, like what we would call like the entry level frags and cool. That's what I'm saying. Like not buying. Pieces. Yeah. If you're buying, you know, grandmaster crack frags, then okay. That's a different story. But if you're buying normal 20, $30 poly, like, Frags, I feel like it's super reasonable of a and hobby if to it's do. Softies, you don't have to dose, you don't have to do anything extra. Yeah. You just make sure you have a clean, not even that clean of a tank, because let's face it, they like dirty water. Dirty yeah. water, right? I think that sums up Brad's entire reef tank tour. Now, Brad, one more time, where can they find you at or DM you if they're interested? Local, I know we got a lot of local people, but if they want to get some pieces. Um, best best way to get a hold of me for anybody local or not is probably through my uh, Instagram. And I will drop links to his Instagram. If you guys like reef tank tours, let me know so I could start rallying up some more people and show you guys some dope tanks. Hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications on. We got new videos every single week. You're gonna wanna be here for it. See you guys in the next one. Later.